This is the first of two videos going over selected important aspects of Homeric heroism. So as you go through this video, make sure that you note down the characteristics of a hero in Homer's world and how these examples illustrate that. So, firstly, it's very important that a Greek hero was good looking and um, as we can see, they knew they were good looking as well. So when we look at this first example, um, after Hector dies, Homer writes that the Greeks gazed in wonder at the stature and marvellous good looks of Hector. Um, so he's described as being very tall and very good looking. So physically he stands out from other men, emphasising how heroic he is. In this quotation, Achilles is saying to Lycaon, Don't you see how big and handsome I am? I'm the son of a great man and a goddess was my mother. So Achilles again is emphasising his size and his appearance. Um, as a reflection of his heroic status and that also comes because of his parentage so he has a hero for a father and a goddess as a mother and this helps make him good looking. Heroes in the Greek world as I said in the introductory video to this topic were also very competitive. Um, your glory was seen as an individual thing rather than a personal uh, sorry, rather than a collective trait, um, which it might have been in Roman times. And so heroes are constantly striving to attain arete. Um, they aimed to always be the best and excel all others. So it wasn't good enough to just be very good. You had to be better than other people. Um, so throughout the Iliad, we see heroism as a very individual and selfish thing. Um, so... Agamemnon says to Achilles at the beginning of their conflict that rivalry, war and fighting are very, very important to him. They're like his lifeblood and note that rivalry is very important so you're constantly competing with others even if they're on your side. Um, at the end of the Iliad, um, Achilles and Hector's fight in single combat is compared to an athletics competition so they're literally competing um, for the life of Hector. It's also important that heroes showed great courage um, and a hero had to be brave to the point of being fearless. So Diomedes, one of the great Greek heroes, says to Agamemnon, courage is the secret to authority. So being able to be brave gives you authority. Um, we see other examples of heroes showing courage. For example, Hector um, it's described as fighting in the front ranks like a hurricane. So the simile shows that um, he is incredibly brave like a hurricane to the point of not having feelings. Um, he's a force of nature. That's how strong and brave he is. Um, similarly, in this quotation here, Achilles is described as making fearlessly for the town. So when he is um, heading off, he is not showing any kind of, of trepidation at all. Um, and he's likened to a horse. Um, so he's again not showing human emotions, he's that brave. Uh, we have a few more examples of Hector's heroism. So this um, quotation here um, refers to um, Hector not being afraid to go off and fight Achilles, even though his parents are telling him not to. And this um, this vase painting here shows Hector putting on his armour, being helped by his parents. So they are talking to him, telling him not to go out and fight Achilles because they know that he's going to die. Um, but Hector is likened to a snake, um, showing that he is not um, willing to step down. He's unafraid to um, face Achilles in battle, even though he knows not he's not going to die. So this is emphasising his courage. Um, and after he dies, his wife Andromache says that Hector would never hang back in the crowd. He's second to none in his courage. So that's what makes him such a great hero. He was incredibly brave. And, um, you know, even his, his wife uh, notices that about him. It was also very important to have reputation among your peers and respect from them. Um, and so... The disrespect that Agamemnon does to Achilles is the central conflict of the Iliad. So he feels so strongly about this disrespect that he's willing to completely step out of battle. Um, so um, Achilles goes to his mum 
to complain about how he is treated by Agamemnon, and she goes to her. Um, he goes. She goes to Zeus um, to ask them to attack the Greeks, and she emphasizes here that Agamemnon is crazy because he is disrespecting the best of all the Greeks. Um, so it's it's described as insane, not um, respecting a great warrior as he should be respected. Um, and she emphasizes this. You can see in this short extract three times she refers to his. Um, his dishonor of Achilles, so that's how important that it is that you should be respected. Um, and Nestor, who is a wise old man amongst the Greeks, emphasizes to Agamemnon the dishonor that he has done to Achilles, who should be held with highest distinction. Um, later on, Agamemnon sends men to Achilles to offer him rewards and to try and sort of bribe him back into battle. Um, and um, they say that Achilles, um, they say that they held him in the highest regard in the whole camp. So they're quite hurt that he doesn't, that they don't want to, uh, that Achilles doesn't want to listen to them because they hold him in such high regard. He should also hold them in high regard. Um, and um, one of the reasons why Hector chooses to fight um, and be killed, face being killed by Achilles. Um, is, is for his reputation. So he would he would rather die than live and lose his reputation among the others. Um, so he wants to be killed gloriously. To, to be killed um, in battle will give you a great reputation and that's far more important than living. Um, Achilles also says that they've won glory by killing Hector um, because God like Hector who was treated like a god um, is so important and so glorious that by killing him they win even more glory. The final important um, aspect of Homeric heroism is that heroes knew that they were mortal and they knew that they had to die. Um, they weren't gods and they knew that their lifespan would end at some stage. So this is why earning glory is so important. They need to somehow create an everlasting memory so that that can live on after they are dead. And so there's a very famous speech in book 12 of the Iliad where Sarpedon, one of the heroes, talks about what heroism is like. So he's saying that if we knew that we would be immortal, there's no way we'd go out and fight. Um, but the world is not like that. So the only way that they can earn glory is to go out and die in a glorious way. Um, I'll continue on looking at some other aspects of Homeric heroism in the next video, but make sure that you note down these important aspects of heroism and explain how these examples illustrate them.